Alright, so last time we saw my OWL project in progress, and now I believe I am finished. So, it took a few more hours than I expected, basically, because I'm right next to my computer. And this is my reference image, which of course I just found online randomly, I didn't take it myself. And I had the opportunity to put it into black and white or something, but I really just wanted to keep it in color because then it has more um, minute details. Because once I sent it over to black and white, it sort of takes away from the parts like underneath the beak. And as you can see, this part right here is very difficult to do. So, on mine, what I did was fudged it. I went ahead and did really whatever I wanted to. I, I made up kinds of feathers and everything. And then another thing is you can't follow an image or a reference image or anything exactly. So you have to be content that it will be pixelated. You, you can't just follow it. So you're going to have to think of some shadows, uh, etc. for your own drawing just to make it more interesting. Because one of the main problems with people who do scratchboard is they forget that they need to have the contrast of the light and the dark. And it sort of gets lost like on this image. I don't know if it shows up as well on video. There is pretty much just like a, a 4 to a 6 range right here in color gradation and you want it to be more drastic than that. I screwed up a lot on mine. It's, there's no way to go back from it. Down here is the main part that I don't like because I, I accidentally started going the wrong way. The feathers are supposed to go this way and then it just uh, gets screwed up. <laughs> so if I could go back and change one thing, it'd probably be that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this piece of work. I just wish I had more time so then I can fill up, could fill up even more of it. But I'll chop it off. Um, and you don't really want to have any piece exactly in the center of something. So if you notice, I have the left side of the owl rather than uh, having both sides. And if you have any more questions on Scratchboard or art in general, please feel free to ask.